I'm Mitch Marks, and today I'm going to be talking about electric vehicle control and calibration measurement, and maybe some ways we can speed that process up. So when you're doing an electric vehicle calibration, you need to think about how the vehicle actually operates. Because we don't only want the vehicles to go as far as possible, we also want them to be fun and do what we expect them to. So when we think about an electric car, we have our inverter connected to our motor. And a lot of times I think we think that the pedal is directly connected to this and it just says to go. But that's not so much the case. Our pedal is going to be giving us an input speed. And that input speed is going to be compared with our real speed. For example, maybe we want to go 60 miles an hour and we're currently at 50. So we're going to compare these two and we're going to get a difference in speed. We're going to call this delta omega. Now this delta omega, we're going to need to apply a torque in order to get there. So we're going to have some math that's telling us, okay, to get this change in speed, we're going to need to apply X amount of torque. Okay, so we're going to directly measure torque, right? Not that easy. Torque is a fairly difficult thing to measure directly in a vehicle accurately and reliably. But what we can do is we can measure our currents. And we're going to take our currents, we're going to measure them, and we're going to have some math that says I current to torque. And we're going to estimate that torque. And that's, that's really important that this is an estimated torque. And we're going to compare that with our commanded torque to our estimated torque. And this is going to give us some current values to feed to our inverter. Now I've, I've said two things here that I, that I think are pretty important. We have to make an assumption on how much torque it takes to change our speed. And we have to make an assumption on how much current is contributing to our torque. So this right here, this is really what we refer to as our motor controller, which is basically a computer sitting in the vehicle that's making these types of decisions. Okay, you might say this is pretty easy, but we have to consider this is a pretty multi-physics system. We have different things contributing to different states of the motor. We have the state of charge of the battery. So how much energy is left in the battery? We have temperature. This delta omega, this change in speed and how much torque we need is gonna change with temperature. The amount of current that's getting translated into torque is gonna to change with temperature. We have a lot of considerations to make. Lastly, if we're in a hybrid or, or some other scenarios, the different gear states, the different cooling regiments are all going to affect these different calculations. So how do we determine this? Well, we're gonna take this value we're gonna take this value and we're gonna do a significant amount of testing. We're gonna test efficiency. We're gonna test transitions. We're gonna test transients. And during these tests, we're gonna look at torque, speed, current, voltage, temperature. And of course, we wanna make sure that our controller is making the correct estimations. So during our testing, we're gonna read what the controller is thinking, and we're also gonna measure CAN bus, or any other vehicle bus that's available. And we're gonna take these torques, these speeds, these currents, these voltages, these temperatures, and we're gonna compare them, these real physical measurements, we're gonna compare them to what the vehicle is thinking is going on. And this is going to allow us to calibrate and make decisions on whether this vehicle is ready for production or if we need to do further testing. If something goes wrong in what this vehicle is thinking, we're going to need to test further. So what we're really looking is to take this control and compare it to reality. And if these two things match up, after this extensive amount of testing where we need to coordinate a significant amount of electrical and mechanical signals, we can then release the vehicle confidently. This might seem daunting, understanding how measured values become reality for each one of these single points, given all the different temperatures, state of charge, gear states. 
But HBK has a product called eDrive. And eDrive has, has some really great features for allowing you to understand this control and calibration of this system to see if reality really does match what your controller is thinking. And it does this because it very easily measures all of your mechanical and electrical values in one place. We're gonna measure those torques, speeds, temperatures, voltages, currents, CAN bus, all in one common location. So you have the physical values, as well as the values that the controller is thinking and estimating. This is going to allow you to really understand that system with all the measurements in one place, time aligned, so you can see what reality looks like without a lot of headache of combining different systems. We're gonna measure a significant amount of data. We can record all of these signals in one place for as long as you have hard drive space. So we're gonna measure those ones and zeros and all of the data that's needed to understand all of these different measurement states. So you can take all of that, all those mechanical, electrical, CAN bus signals, bring them to post-process analyses, and make those difficult decisions for designing your control and optimizing it. Lastly, the eDrive system allows you to test very quickly. We're gonna make all these measurements extremely quickly so that you can move from one test to another. You can move from one set point to another, one efficiency map to another. We do this using a system called Cycle Detect, where we quickly measure power, efficiency, and we're gonna allow you to do these tests very quickly, measure all that data for the whole entire system to see if reality really does match what your controller is thinking. Thank you for your time.